everyone. We all know that WooCommerce's default shop page is preset, but who doesn't want to make their shop page look more attractive? Well, customizing the WooCommerce shop page in the right way can help you stand out from competitors, improve customer experience, increase conversion rates and sales, and along with that, it also helps in SEO improvements. Well, being able to manage the store page effectively is definitely an advantage. Well, there are plenty of ways to customize WooCommerce shop pages. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through some tips to customize the WooCommerce shop page. I'm Aparna Singh Dev from LearnWoo and let's get started. Well, first is customize WooCommerce shop page using Page Builder. Well, page builders can alter a shop page's layout, design, amount of items displayed, product types, etc. Well, the best part about using a page builder is that you don't need to change any theme files or write codes. Well, you can edit a WooCommerce shop page using Beaver Builder, DV, Elementor, Visual Composer or using any other popular page builder without ever having to touch a single line of code. Also, some themes like Astra, Generate Press, Ocean, WP, etc. already offer integrated options for customizing WooCommerce pages. You can use Store Customizer plugin. Well, the plugin uses WordPress Customizer setting to make live changes to your WooCommerce store. You can view your edits as you're making them. You can hide the price and remove the purchase and the add to cart functions from your online store if you want. Also along with that, the catalog mode setting can be set for particular products or all of your WooCommerce products. Well, it offers product quick view for your WooCommerce. Next is customize default WooCommerce shop page using the plugin. Then you can use the storefront blocks where storefront blocks can be used to override the existing default WooCommerce shop page layout and design, category page, and home. Well, these blocks can be integrated without having to enter any code. Well, using storefront blocks, you can create customized category pages. You can rearrange existing sections or add brand new sections, categories, and products. Next, you can use WooCommerce blocks. Well, WooCommerce blocks can be used to be displayed by the category and tag. You can also show items that are featured, handpicked, bestsellers, or are currently on sale, making it easier for the users to choose the right product for them. And then you can design a WooCommerce shop page with Gutenberg blocks. For that, step one is create the shop page. When you install WooCommerce, it creates a shop page for you. Go to Pages and Shop to find it. You will be directed to WordPress Gutenberg Blog Editor if you click the edit link mentioned below the shop page name. Step 2 is create a layout with the block editor. Now let's fill the shop page with content. When looking for blocks in the block editor, you can see that these can be used to display various shop-related content categories. Pick one and place it on your design. You can keep adding the sedated blocks below each other depending on the amount of content you want to add to your shop page. Once you place the block, it asks you to select the featured product from your created product. Let's select shoe for this example. Step 3 is personalize your design. Next, let's modify each block of your shop page with Gutenberg blocks. Explore the block setting that display on the right hand section by clicking on each block you created. Use the preview button in the upper right hand corner of the page if you are not sure how the final outcome of the configuration will look. And step 4 is finish and add the finishing touches. Now save and test the shop to ensure it's working as it did it. Select the publish button in the top right hand corner of the screen to save your work. Now add slash shop after the URL in the front end of your website. 
Your store should now be visible in your browser. Use Elementor for customizing the WooCommerce shop page. Well, Elementor is one of the best blog builders in regard to features and ease of use. It lets you create, tweak and furnish any page on your website. You can also design custom menus and take use of a large range of useful add-ons and themes. First, build a product. For that, go to Templates, Add New and select the type. You can start with an empty page or pick a block from the supplied templates. Here you can see specific widgets in addition to the standard element or page elements. Make the adjustments as required for your shop. Once done, publish. The next step is you can use storefront child themes. Well, a child theme is a layer that sits on the top of the parent theme and allows you to make changes without having to start from scratch. Storefront offers 14 child themes to customize your store above and beyond the default layout. You can also create child themes from scratch to suit specific needs. Well, to know how you can create child themes, click the link mentioned in the description. You can download a child theme by going to your WooCommerce account, theme store and downloading the theme you desire. Once you have downloaded the folder, you can install it by uploading the zip file of your child theme folder to your site by accessing the WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new section. Now customize your shop page and click publish. Next tip is design WooCommerce shop page using short codes. Well, a short code is a tiny piece of code represented by brackets to add a certain function. You may utilize shortcodes to display galleries, products, and other content. Well, the shortcode for adding products to your shop page is one of the most important ones. You can add variations to the shortcode such as featured products, recent products, and below in the description, I have mentioned a link to an article that will give you an entire guide to WooCommerce shortcodes. Well, if you are using WordPress with the Gutenberg blog editor, then you can just drag and drop a shortcode blog anywhere you need and enter a shortcode in it. Next step we have for you is change the shop page into your home page. Well, set your store page as your home page to make your shopper's life simpler and more convenient. For that, go to Appearance, Customize, Home page setting. The next step is setting up the website home page with featured products using a storefront template. Well, the home page design is one of the best approaches to showcase your items since your customers can immediately overview your products and product categories as they enter your store. Go to WordPress dashboard, pages and make a new page called home. Add some material that you would like your visitors to see on a home page like background images and text. Once you publish the page, go to quick edit under the page you just created. Now click on parent and select main page from the drop down. Select home page from the template drop down menu. 
when you set the home page template to a specific page, it will automatically display the most recent and highlighted products like you can see here. And the final tip we have for you is use the extra layer added by WooCommerce. Well, WooCommerce also adds an extra layer of adjustments to the store page via the appearance option in WordPress. You may control the number of goods on the store page, the size of the picture, thumbnails and more with these adjustments. For that, go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance and select customize. From the list of customizable website elements, choose WooCommerce, then select product catalog from the drop down menu. From here, you can do all the changes that are required. And that was it. Those were my best tips to customize WooCommerce shop page. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let us know in the comment section and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.